Hey, Krista here. Welcome to my channel where I discuss everything marketing, mindset, and entrepreneurship. I am so excited that you're here today because I want to talk about the underdog advantage. Okay, how to use being an underdog to your advantage. So why being an underdog is actually a superpower. By the end of this video, I'll share a special link with you where you can get a free copy of The Underdog Advantage written by one of my mentors, Dean Graziosi, and I'm gonna get vulnerable with you a little bit and I'm gonna show you how I turned being an underdog into one of my greatest superpowers in business. <laughs> marketing and entrepreneurship advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. All right. So I told you I was going to get a little bit vulnerable here. So I'm going to share with you a little bit of my underdog story. So I do come from a divorced family. Um, I have five brothers and two sisters, many of which are halves from um, step parents and whatnot. And um, we did not have a lot of money growing up. In fact, I remember one Christmas, you know, at school when you like donate food to the food bank and then um, usually you're raising money for a family or whatnot. I remember, I think I was in grade four when one Christmas somebody from the school showed up at our house with boxes of food and there was turkey and you know all kinds of stuff in there and I remember being so excited because the school had also donated you know the school uniform so there was like a sweatshirt with the school name and the sweatpants and I remember being so happy about that because we never got to buy those things at school because we we couldn't afford it okay I lived in a different house and went to a different school almost every single year of my life and it's not like I, you know, moved down the street, like I moved towns, I moved cities, I moved provinces in some, in some cases. So I got really, really good at adapting to change and to problem solving, right? And I didn't even really know that I was, you know, learning these skills. But now that I'm an adult, let me tell you something. Once I decided to get into my entrepreneurship journey, what I have done is I've recognized that my ability to adapt to change and to problem solve is actually some of my biggest superpower guys. Like if things aren't changing, then something's wrong, right? I've been able to turn my disadvantage, what a lot of people would say from, you know, having an unstable, you know, home life, I guess, and whatnot growing up to one of my biggest superpowers. So I was forced at a very, very young age, guys, to adapt to change. Oftentimes when I talk about my childhood and share these stories, people look at me with sadness um, and pity, but, but what if, just for one second, like follow me along here. What if these exact scenarios are, you know, what fuel me today, okay? They give me the passion and the drive to create the life that I, I actually want and that I'm in control of and that you're in control of as well. You see, in today's day and age, things change faster than they ever have in the past, okay? You know that with technology. By the time you get your, your new phone, the, the third version of it, even better is already coming out, right? Things change quick in business. They change quick in life, right? I excel with change and problem solving. Now, I was lucky enough to get a copy of the book before it was actually released, which was today, December 3rd, depending on your watching this, it's not gonna be today. So I want to share with you a little bit of the book that resonated with me that I have saved. And uh, here we go, story time. All right, this is actually on page 30 of the 224 page book, which guys, it's such an easy read. So here we go. Underdogs are people that you never see coming. Underdogs are always underestimated. Underdogs can harness the power that comes from people telling them that they can't. What if being an underdog was your gift? What if it was actually meant to be your journey? It was there to provide you the difficulties you need to sharpen your tools and become the person you needed to become. What if your problems were actually the catapult to put you above the rest? History is a great teacher of what's possible. Think about George Washington. 
uh, or read any history book. Look back at the people that have changed the world, have changed the legacy of their families because they didn't give in. At some point in all of our lives, we all felt like no one was in our corner. That is that it was too hard to start the business, that people have already done what you want to do, that it's the wrong timing, it's the wrong government, you come from the wrong pedigree, your parents don't support you, your husband, your wife, they stand in your way. You have an underdog story, okay? I have my own. We all feel like we're an underdog in some way, shape, or form. All right, that's it. That's all I'm giving you. This is one page of 224 pages of absolute gold and examples from a man whose businesses combined have done over a billion dollars in sales. So yeah, although he may not be an underdog now, he still keeps the underdog mindset and talks about it all in his book and why you should too. All right, so now you know how I use my underdog status as an advantage so you can start to identify yours and use them. I've included a special link in the comments below where you can order a copy of the underdog advantage for free. You just have to pay the shipping. All right guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends.